Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, 1000 Ob Sisters. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. 1000 Ob Sisters, the Slayton family's eight most troubled romantic relationships. The cast of 1000 Ob Sisters has lost a combined 1000 pounds since the show's 2020 premiere, and their love lives have been as dramatic as their weight loss journeys. The unscripted series centers around the lives of sisters Tammy Slayton and Amy Slayton. But over the years, the rest of the Slayton family have become the main characters on the show. When they made their television debuts, Tammy and Amy weighed over 600 and 400 pounds, respectively, and their siblings were overweight as well. While pursuing their health and fitness goals, the Slaytons have also been busy falling in love, getting married, getting divorced, and even mourning the death of loved ones. Tammy and Amy grew up with their siblings, Chris Combs, Misty Wentworth Slayton, and Amanda Holterman, in Shawneetown, Illinois. Most of them struggled with their weight their entire lives, and things got worse as the 1,000 Old Sisters, season 5 stars went on to get married and have children. Since making their television debuts, the Slayton siblings all had bariatric surgery and weight loss progress. Even their love lives have gone through dramatic transformations. The family has gone through several marriages, divorces, and even deaths over the years. Amanda Holterman and Jason Holterman, 43-year-old Amanda didn't appear in the first three seasons of 1000 Ob Sisters because she had her hands full going through a divorce from her ex-husband, Jason Holterman. Though the couple amicably parted ways in August 2020, the couple's divorce wasn't finalized until two years later, in August 2022. Amanda and Jason were married in December 1998 and had four sons together during their 22 years of marriage. All of Amanda and Jason's sons are adults now, and only one was under 18 at the time of their divorce. After her divorce, Amanda lost a lot of weight and started dating again. She refused to give up on love and has had several serious relationships including R.J., who she got very serious with. Amanda Holterman and R.J. wasn't long after her divorce that Amanda had surgery and lost weight. Little Life, by Cordelia playing in the background. In the image, which is taken at the beach, R.J.'s face is partially visible as he holds Amanda from behind, kissing the back of her head. Amanda looked so happy in the picture, but little did she know that the relationship wasn't long for this world. In June, Amanda posted a TikTok explaining her boyfriend, RJ, had ghosted her completely. According to Amanda's TikTok, she hadn't seen him since May 1. He had left town to meet his family and never came back. Amanda tried contacting him, but got no response. He just disappeared without a trace. During the clip, Amanda also reveals this isn't the first time RJ has ghosted her, though this time it has lasted longer. This is especially painful because Amanda moved from Kentucky to Florida to be with RJ, leaving her family behind to follow her heart. After the breakup, she moved back to Kentucky and moved in with Emmy Emmy Slayton and Michael Holterman when 1000 Old Sisters premiered. 36-year-old Amy and Michael Holterman were newlyweds, and Amy decided to lose weight so she could have children. Motherhood had always been her dream, but she was too big to carry a healthy pregnancy to term. After four years of marriage and two children together, Michael filed for divorce from Amy. He was always by Amy's side and was a big help to Tammy. Whenever they went anywhere together, it was Michael pushing Tammy's wheelchair. The couple always seemed happy, but things changed soon after their two sons, Gage and Glenn Halterman, were born. Amy and Michael's problems were revealed during 1000 Old Sisters Season 5 and Michael filed for divorce from Amy in March 2023. Amy Slayton and Tony Rogers, then Keevan since Amy's divorce from Michael, the 1000 Old Sister star had to make mental health a priority since being diagnosed with depression, acute stress disorder, and bipolar disorder. Dating as a single mother wasn't easy, and Amy was disappointed by multiple new men, since being disappointed by her ex-husband, Michael. Soon after leaving Michael, Amy got serious with a man named Tony Rogers and even introduced him to her son's way too soon. Since her two brief whirlwind affairs, Amy seems to have settled into her life as a single mother 
and is focused on co-parenting her sons. After Amanda's breakup with RJ, she moved in with Amy, and the two have been living together ever since. Not only does Amy probably love having an extra pair of hands helping with her toddlers, but it must be comforting having her loving older sister there. Tammy During Slayton Challenge and time. Jerry Sykes of all the Slaytons, 37-year-old Tammy has had the most chaotic love life. Tammy met Jerry Sykes several years before the premiere of 1000 Old Sisters in a B.B. Dewey chatroom. Tammy's family didn't approve of her relationship with Jerry, who they thought was a feeder who encouraged Tammy to eat unhealthy foods. Jerry had a terrible diet and ate a lot of junk food around Tammy, which made it hard for her to stick to her diet. Tammy's brother, Chris Combs, even took Jerry aside during season two to ask him to stop bringing junk food into the house, to no avail. Making matters worse, Jerry was a married man with seven children. In an exclusive interview with The Sun, Jerry's now ex-wife, here Russell Rucker Sykes, said she didn't learn about the affair until the show aired and she saw her husband on television. She also alleged Tammy knew Jerry was married with seven children but dated him anyway. Though Tammy and Jerry broke up during 1000 Old Sisters Season 2, they had a brief affair during 1000 Old Sisters Season 3. Kia divorced Jerry, explaining, I don't think I can forgive him anymore. We have seven kids together. They are upset with him. Cammie Slayton and Philip Redmond Tammy had her share of bad relationships during the run of 1000 Old Sisters. But Philip Redmond is in the running for her worst boyfriend ever. Tammy met Philip in a BBO chatroom, where he went by the name the BBO King. Philip was clearly a man with a fetish for obese women, which posed a threat to Tammy's weight loss journey. Tammy prioritized her relationship over her weight loss goals, putting on even more weight during her relationship with Philip. When Tammy and Philip had a falling out, Tammy alleged that Philip and his friends were harassing her. Things got so bad Tammy had to get a restraining order against Philip. For a while, it seemed that the relationship was over, but Tammy went back to Philip briefly, in a moment of weakness. Thankfully, their brief reconciliation didn't last, and the 1000 Old Sister star got back on track pursuing her health goals. Tammy Slayton, an unnamed ex DFO of Tammy's most toxic romantic relationships long before cameras started rolling, was her relationship with an unnamed ex-girlfriend. During 1000 Old Sisters Season 2, Tammy discussed being pansexual, saying, it means love is love. Tammy's taste in women hasn't been much better than her questionable taste in men. Tammy has revealed that, at one point, she lived with her former girlfriend. Tammy recalled that she and her ex developed bad habits during their time together and even admitted they were doing drugs regularly. Tammy clarified, when I say I started doing pills, I mean we would crush them, and we would smoke them. The relationship came to an end when Tammy's girlfriend cheated on her. Recently, Tammy addressed that she used to struggle with an addiction to alcohol and drugs, but she has cleaned up her life since losing weight. Tammy Slayton and Caleb Willingham after kissing many toads. During 1000 Old Sisters Season 4, Tammy finally met a nice guy. After her health scare, Tammy realized she couldn't lose weight on her own, so she checked herself into a diet rehab facility. While there, she met another patient, Caleb Willingham, a rapper and poet who struggled with food addiction. Though Caleb wasn't her usual type, the two fell in love and were married in 2022, in a wedding that aired at the end of 1000 Old Sisters Season 4. While they were married, the 1000 Old Sisters star lost enough weight to receive her bariatric surgery and was discharged from the facility. Caleb didn't lose enough weight to join her, so the newlyweds were separated, living in different states. Though Tammy and Caleb spoke daily, the separation was difficult for both of them. Sadly, only six months after their wedding, 41-year-old Caleb died from health complications. During the finale of 1000 Old Sisters Season 5, Tammy found herself widowed and on her own again.